I'm a born hunter and outdoorsman with a relentless passion for nature. I told myself that if I ever had the opportunity to have my own outdoor show, I would show the things and people we don't traditionally see and that I would be the example for other outdoorsmen to follow. There's a whole different world out there when it comes to the outdoors that people never see. Welcome to the other side. Non-typical Outdoorsman TV is brought to you by individual donors like you and Thoroughgood Boots. Welcome back to episode number five. We're almost at the end of the season since there's only eight episodes, so this is number five of eight. And in this week's show, I will be bringing you all a women's hunt where it's actually part one, where you will have a woman actually out doing a quail hunt, and then you have a woman out doing a hog hunt. But before I get into this week's show, let me back up a little bit and talk a little bit more about last week's episode where I did the diversity hunt, the mentored adult deer hunt up in Maryland. Uh, with that episode, you know, there's only 21 and a half minutes of content that I can put into a show. And uh, that means that I didn't get a chance to thank and acknowledge everybody that I should have. So I want to just go back real quick, thank David Bethea. Um, he was one of the mentors for the hunt in the blind with Brian. Um, he runs a Facebook group, Black American Outdoors where he and his group works for uh, outdoor diversity and striving for inclusion and outdoor diversity as well. Uh, I also want to thank three people who sent financial donations in to buy the blinds that we use for the hunt. First person is Andrew Hickman from Lacey, New Jersey. Next person, Dwayne Nicholson of Brooklyn, New York. And then Willie Adams from Montgomery, Alabama. Thank each of you all for contributing to the show and help making that episode a success. So let's cut to this week's episode where we're going to start out with Ariel, who is a recent graduate of Tuskegee's veterinarian program. Uh, she's actually went undergrad at Tuskegee Vet School at Tuskegee. So she came out and did a hunt twice. Uh, so let's see how that hunt goes. Hey y'all, I'm Ariel. So I'm out here hunting for my first time using a muzzleloader rifle. So I'm just hoping to shoot a big buck today since Eric hasn't had any luck all season. So hopefully I'll be the one to do so this year. <laughs> Once she got settled into the blind, Ariel made sure that she could see what was in front of her, made sure that she had some good lanes out there to shoot at in case a deer came through. And I had confidence in Ariel because Ariel had expressed an interest in hunting uh, months, months in advance. And I spent a little time with her on the shotgun range as well as on the rifle range. And she had never shot a long gun before, so it was all a new experience to her. So as we sat out there hoping that a deer may come through, um, it was doing December and um, as we were sitting there waiting to see if a deer was going to come through, I had faith in her that she would make a shot. But after sitting for a morning hunt and an evening hunt without seeing anything, we decided to come up with a plan B. And Ariel mentioned that she wanted to try hogs the next time. So over the uh, spring break, Ariel came down with a group of her veterinarian friends from Tuskegee and they spent a weekend out shooting trap and just hanging out. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Check Jeremy, this you out. shot a gun before, right? Uh, uh -huh. You shot a handgun before, but never a long gun, right? Yeah. And you're from Texas? Mm-hmm. Okay. Everybody in Texas deserves to shoot a gun at least once or twice, so. Safety back off. I'm safe back on. I have to rest my arms. <laughs> <Too much. laughs> I didn't know I had to go to the gym to shoot a gun. Dear God. Pool. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It's yeah. Pool. Woo! Got 
you go. That's how you do it. You're going to come out, you're going to write people for the trigger. Can you see it? Okay. Okay. Turn the safety off. Oh, yeah, just put the safety off. It's great. It's off. You got one shot. When you're ready, say pull. Good oh, Lord. Okay. Ah, pull. <laughs> Okay. You can point in the same direction. Okay. What are y'all doing, Tuskegee? Y'all don't lift weights, do you? I don't lift no weights. I don't go to no gym. I can tell. Uh, Let me help you out yeah, here. Yeah, help me. Okay. All right. So, did that, did that shoulder nice and tight? Okay. Pull. And she got it, y'all. She Woo! got it. Shot. Finn, the little puppy, even had fun out there hanging out with the crew and he was taking lessons from Razor as to how to properly retrieve an object from water. Come on. I think he may have learned something y'all. Trivia question. Which shooting sport was designed to replicate upland bird hunting? Hey everybody, be sure to check out my show, Non-Typical Outdoorsman TV, right here on the Pursuit channel, Mondays at 6 a.m. and Sundays at 5 p.m., and follow me on my quest to bring more diversity to the outdoors. The show is unlike anything you've ever seen, so don't miss it. From hogs to deer to upland birds and more, you'll be glad that you tuned in. The show is all about affordable adventures, introducing new hunters, diversity, and inclusion. So be sure to watch Non-Typical Outdoorsman TV, the most diverse outdoor show on the planet. Thoroughgood has been trusted by tradespeople and hardworking Americans since 1892, an employee-owned company with two manufacturing facilities in Wisconsin. Thoroughgood has over 125 styles of handcrafted American-made footwear. Our focus is job-fitted footwear for the trades, public safety workers, military, and hunters. Thoroughgood's job-fitted boots are built to get the job done. Visit ThoroughgoodUSA.com to find a dealer near you, and trust Thoroughgood to take you through your life's pursuits. Trivia question. Which shooting sport was designed to replicate upland bird hunting? Answer. A. Trap was designed to replicate upland bird hunting scenarios versus skeet or sporting clays that normally applies to waterfowl such as ducks, geese, etc. After half an area going down to West Point WMA and not seeing a deer or having a shot at a deer. I was really hopeful that she would get a shot at a hog on this particular hunt. And sure enough, it within about maybe an hour of sitting there, out popped this nice fat sow. Now, Willie Adams is on the pro staff here at Non-Typical Outdoorsman TV, and it's always good to have a guy like Willie on your team. Look at the size of him. Willie is just plain huge, 6'3", like 3'15", and he ain't fat, y'all. Okay, so we're just following the blood, right? Yeah, we're just following mm -hmm. the blood. Okay. All right. So we got some here. Oh, that's a big splash. Okay. I got some blood right here. All right. What you got right there in front of you? It's a hog. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You got it. So we need to see if it's a boar or a sow. Yeah. That's nice. Nice. About two year old sow. Mm hmm. So you're just going off the weight or the size of it? Yeah, use about the size of it. Mm -hmm. Two so good shot on it. Put it just where we told you to put it too. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Erica, you just shot your first haul. Your first How do you feel? I mean, honestly, I'm just excited right now. Ready to taste it. Ready, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> My kind of hunter, ready, thinking about eating it before you even clean it. 
So uh, Willie, I want to thank you for uh, letting us come out on this property here because, uh, you know, last season the area and I went down to West Point WMA and I was trying to get her a deer with my mother loader. Okay. Uh, she sat out there all morning, didn't see a thing, and I appreciate you coming through for this whole hunt. So uh, what do you think about today's hunt? I think everything went pretty smooth, you know. Made a good shot. Yes, she did. Did a good job tracking it. <laughs> she did. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, harvest that animal. That's right. So, um, it, it's, it's um, not too hot out here, but these flies are already thinking this is their next meal, but it's not. It's our next meal. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> so, uh, so, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and uh, drag it back and get it skin up. But before we go, tell all of America, what do you think about hunting and would you, what, do you, what would you recommend to your friends about hunting? Um, honestly, it's, it's kind of relaxing. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it was relaxing and exciting at the same time. Um, I appreciate kind of like the wait for the animal to come out. And then when it came, it was just like a rush of adrenaline. So I didn't even feel the kickback from the gun. But, yeah, the recoil. <laughs> but I think everybody should come out and try there you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hey, let's get a drug back before these flies take over, and uh, we'll quarter up and uh, go get something to eat. All right. Sounds All right. Good. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm going to see how far I can pull it by myself first. Yeah, that, that's the good side of a hunter right there. One of the ones that kill out by themselves. Got a hit. Y'all wrong about the same way. Right there. <laughs> Sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's always good to have a man like Will on your team. Look at him grabbing that hole with one hand and just taking it straight up that hill. Thank God for Willie. Oh, he makes it look so easy. After getting the haul back on top of the hill, it was time to give Ariel a quick lesson on how to skin and quarter her own haul. I'm Ariel Truett from Fayetteville, Georgia, and you're watching Non-Typical Outdoorsman TV. That was interesting how Ariel was determined to uh, get that haul back up the hill. Uh, she drug it a pretty good ways, and I can't, you know, compliment her enough for making a perfect shot on that haul. So let's cut to Amanda now. You're all going to love Amanda. She is she is the life of the party. <laughs> she is off the chain and she's down in LaGrange, Georgia with me doing the quail hunt. I was the guide and the cameraman but we managed to make it work out. Today guys we are at the Tom Lowe shooting range in Hot Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. And today my special guest is Amanda Manzi who is going to try her hand at trap shooting. I know that um, trap shooting is foreign to a lot of people, but Amanda, tell me, what gave, you say you never have hunted before, what prompted you to have an interest in hunting? Um, I always wanted to hunt, I've always wanted to do that, I've never had anyone to take me, I don't know anything about it, I don't know where to start, how to do it, I've never worked those kinds of guns before. I have shot before with pistols right, and stuff, right, right. but I've never worked with shot, like a shotgun um, or rifle of any kind. I don't know how to do it. So uh, finally I have someone to show me and take me and I'm really excited and I can't wait today. That's right. So today Amanda's going to try her hand at trap shooting. When I told Amanda that I had a show coming up, uh, she jumped at the chance to be a model for the show. So here is the model for one of the models for the show. Uh, this coming fall, Amanda, we're going to do a quail hunt. So all this what we're doing today is getting, is getting you prepared for the quail hunt. So, but I know you're tough. You're an Air Force Reserve person. Mm -hmm. And tell everybody what you do in the reserve. Okay. Um, well, I've been in Air Force for about nine years. I was active duty for six. I was a truck driver. I know, crazy. I don't look like a truck driver. I didn't choose the truck driving life, but the truck driving life chose me. So there's that. Um, and then I got out and I joined the reserves and now I'm a medic. I'm a medical technician and I work pretty much anywhere. In hospitals, in the field, on planes, whatever. It doesn't matter. 
and we're gonna show you all what it takes to get someone prepared for wing shooting. What we're doing today is called wing shooting because mm -hmm. we're shooting at something on the wing. Okay. Albeit it's a clay target, but uh, it's gonna be fun. So let's go out and have some fun, all right? Okay. All right. So after giving Amanda a quick rundown of how to use a shotgun, it was time to hit the trap range and get her prepared to hit some targets. It was her first time shooting traps, so I told her not to worry about it, just, hey, just relax and let it float. Keep Pull! She did pretty good, and I think that she was ready for the hunt. Pull! And speaking of the hunt, once we got down to LaGrange in the fall, I gave her another rundown of how to use a shotgun. Right. So what you gotta do is get the use of the field, just aim out toward that tree out there. And just pull the trigger. Okay. Get the camera. Okay. I'm not gonna scare no birds or nothing. You good. You don't like okay. it. There you go. Mm. Right. So, stay. Just aim out there toward the tree. Okay. I got a camera turned on and it was time for the hunt. Back in here, Ray. Nope, back in here. There he is, get ready, get ready. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, 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 leave it, leave it. Oh, God, I suck. <laughs> Why? That's all right. <laughs> okay. It's your first time. There we go. Oh, God. Thurgood has been trusted by tradespeople and hardworking Americans since 1892, an employee-owned company with two manufacturing facilities in Wisconsin. Thurgood has over 125 styles of handcrafted American-made footwear. Our focus is job-fitted footwear for the trades, public safety workers, military, and hunters. Thurgood's job-fitted boots are built to get the job done. Visit ThurgoodUSA.com to find a dealer near you and trust Thurgood to take you through your life's pursuits. Hey everybody, be sure to check out my show, Non-Typical Outdoorsman TV, right here on the Pursuit channel, Mondays at 6 a.m. and Sundays at 5 p.m., and follow me on my quest to bring more diversity to the outdoors. The show is unlike anything you've ever seen, so don't miss it. From hogs to deer to upland birds and more, you'll be glad that you tuned in. The show is all about affordable adventures, introducing new hunters, diversity, and inclusion. So be sure to watch Non-Typical Outdoorsman TV, the most diverse outdoor show on the planet. Ah! Ah! Okay. One thing I forgot to tell y'all, Amanda competes in fitness competitions and in 2019, last year, right after this hunt, she won second place in the Lee Haney Fitness Competition in Atlanta. Okay. Leave it, leave it. Leave it. Yes, sir. I'm going to have to look for some ticks because they might get in my boots or my pants. I'm just not trying to get Lyme disease. I don't want to get Lyme disease. I don't know if they got lime tips out here. I don't know, I'm lost now. It all looks the same, it's a big deal. That is so funny. Come here. Puppy. 
Get it. Oh, oh. Good job. Break the wheel right there. Dang. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> no, there's another one over here. Oh. No, maybe whatever it was. Get it, get it, get it. Whoa, Ray, whoa! Ray! It's kind of... Turn it, shoot it, shoot it. Aim, 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 aim. Oh, whoa, Ray! Uh. Whoa, Ray, whoa. Whoa, Ray. Whoa, Ray. Whoa, Ray. Right here. 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 You ready to shoot? Just in case. Good job, Ray. Oh my God. Okay, so we just finished up the hunt with Amanda. Y'all saw Amanda at the shooting range, at Tom Lowe's shooting range, uh, getting ready back during the summer. So here it is in January. And, uh, oh, almost January, it's December. And she's out from her hunt. So what do you think, Amanda? Well, I did a lot better than I expected to do. You uh, got four birds. I got four. <laughs> It took me a couple times, but then I, I once I hit one, I just hit everyone after that. Yep, yep. That went a lot better than I expected it to go, honestly. So what do you think about hunting? It's your first time hunting. What do you think? Uh, well, there's a lot of preparation. I feel like that goes with this, and you, I, you know, there's rules. You got to wear orange, apparently. I apparently. didn't know that. I think you can tell she's a first time hunter. Um, apparently. I did not know that you go get quail. And then you set them out. That's what pin rays preserve on. For wild quails, you don't. You get a dog, and then the dog finds them. And then you shoot it when the dog. It's like a whole thing. I didn't know about all that. Yeah, yeah. That was that was new information. One thing else you didn't know about was the ticks. So you have all kind of holes uh, here for the ticks to get into, and we found one on you. So yeah, I want those ticks. <clears throat> I wanted to look cute, and so I got my holy jeans, but I found ticks on me, and I am not trying to have Lyme disease, so I'm going to check myself for ticks later. If not, I'm sure there's somebody downtown in Newton, they'll be happy to check. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Sure. Oh, Whoa. God, I'm worried. Hi, my name's Amanda Manzi from Noonan, Georgia, and you're watching Non-Typical Outdoorsman TV. I don't listen, no ways, I don't go to no gym.